Shrimp is regarded as nutritious since it contains protein, selenium, antioxidant, phosphorus, magnesium, copper, iron, and vitamin B12. Some of the health benefits associated with shrimp consumption include weight loss, fighting aging, improving bone health, decreasing menstrual pain, and preventing cardiovascular diseases. Moreover, increasing health consciousness amongst consumers, escalating disposable incomes, and improving standards of living remain some of the other major factors which are further augmenting the demand for shrimps. Looking forward, IMARC expects the market to reach a volume of 1.13 million tons by 2024, exhibiting a compound annual growth rate of around 9% during 2019 to 2024. India to become the largest exporter of shrimp globally with a 23% share of the total global export volumes. The global demand base for shrimp largely constitutes of the major developed regions and countries. Shrimp farming is around 1.2 lakh sector now and hence a lot of scope exists for farmers and aquaculture related persons into this field of activity. The average culture period required is around 90 to 120 to 150 days during which time the prawn will grow 20 to 30 to 35 gram size. It is possible to get two crops in a year. Harvested shrimps can be kept between layers of crushed ice before transporting the consignment to market. The success of commercial aquaculture in India is attributed to the availability of vast untapped surface water resources, stabilization of many new products and associated techniques of input and output subsystems, and extension of technology and practical knowledge to the farmers. Now let us dive into the actual cultivation of shrimp. Selection of a suitable site always plays a major role in shrimp farming. The determination of a site for shrimp farming is made only after through analysis of information on topography, ecosystem, meteorological and socio-economic conditions in relation to the farm design, species compatibility and economic viability. A reservoir is important for the control of pond environment and storage of water supply when the water quality is inconsistent or the supply is intermittent. It is recommended that the area of a reservoir within a farm should be about 30% of the total farm area in order to hold a sufficient volume of the water supply. Some farms may use part of the reservoir for sedimentation purpose where biological filter feeding organisms are stopped. The reservoir must have an outlet that can allow total drainage. Shrimps may be stocked into concrete and earthen reservoirs, pond, irrigation ditches, cages, pens and natural waters. Cage and pen culture is experimental while the production from irrigation ditches is low. Aeration brings water and air in close contact in order to remove dissolved gases, 
such as carbon dioxide and oxidizes dissolved metals such as iron, hydrogen sulfide and volatile organic chemicals. Aeration is often the first major process at the treatment plant. Aeration brings water and air in close contact by exposing drops. The scrubbing process caused by the turbulence of aeration physically removes dissolved gases from solution and allows them to escape into the surrounding air. Aeration also helps remove dissolved metals through oxidation. The chemical combination of oxygen from the air with certain undesired metal in the water. Complete feed is a feed formulated to provide all required nutrients in the proper proportion necessary for rapid weight gain and high feed efficiency to produce healthy shrimp of high quality. Feed cost is about half of variable production cost in shrimp culture. The objective of commercial shrimp nutrient is to maximize the growth rate as cheaply as possible while producing a healthy shrimp high product quality. Shrimp production have led to global recognition of the need for health management. In many cases, these impacts have been a direct result of the absence of effective national and regional health management strategies. Focus to formulate the effective molecules for healthcare strategies and guidelines which help the sustainable food securities. Shrimps are particularly susceptible to bacteria and viral pathogens since they are characterized by persistent viral infections which often produce no gross signs of disease or mortality which may be unknown and or difficult to detect, which can cause several losses of culture and wild hostess once they are unwittingly introduced. Ability to meet or surpass production goals with the maintenance of osmotic equilibrium. Pond minerals play a major role and supplementation is highly required with proper ratio. Same mineral must help in developing a healthy and stable plankton bloom which will enhance the better survival of the post larva. Probiotics or bioremediating agent with special beneficial bacterial action facilitates for better pond ecology and slug management. It helps outcompete pathogenic bacteria, reduction of suspended organic matter and reduce BOD and COD. The use of feeds will improve shrimp production and increase profit. The availability of nutrients from feed depends on the type of quality of the raw materials used, the formulation, the feed processing, feed storage conditions, and the feed management. Therefore, feed and feeding practices for semi-intensive or intensive shrimp farming require a basic understanding of nutrition and feed requirement. Successful harvesting can be achieved if the shrimp can be harvested in good condition within a short period of time. The harvesting should not damage or excessively contaminate the shrimp with waste. Rapid harvesting will reduce the risk of bacterial contamination and the shrimp will still be fresh when reaching the processor. 